Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Cybersecurity Ranger. Before I begin the video, I would like to request to you to please subscribe to the channel. So today's demonstration is about creating a fake access point. Um, you can call it a rogue access point. So the idea is that once you create a fake access point, people will start getting connected. And once they get connected to your rogue access point or fake access point, you'll be able to intercept the traffic. Now, from the defense point of view or from security perspective, the reason for making this video is that you should be very careful when you are sitting in public places and you see internet, you see wireless networks that you may think that, you know, they will provide you with free internet access. Um, but in reality, it it is possible that somebody has a rogue access point or an evil twin basically to intercept your traffic. <laughs> so let's get started. First, I would like to connect my wireless adapter to Kelly. Disconnect from the host. <clears throat> Open my Terminator terminal. Let's see. So currently my wireless card is in the banished mode. Before I begin, I will try to airmon and the check kill just to kill the conflicting processes. All right. The next step is to enable the monitor mode on WN0. Oh, sorry. It's Airmon and G star WN0. All right, so the monitor mode is enabled just to re-verify. Everything is okay. Now, before I begin, uh, you may not have um, bridge utils installed on your Kali. So uh, in order to install bridge-utils, you can use apt-get install bridge-utils. I already have it, so I already installed it, so it shows me that it is the newest version, but you may have to install it. All right, so we are all set now. So the tool that we need to use today to create um, a rogue access point or even or evil twin, and the command is airbase-ng hyphen hyphen ESSID fake ranger is the name of the Wi-Fi. I can just call it uh airport or just let's call it um tim hortons underscore free wi-fi all right and hyphen c is for the channel now, if you are creating an evil twin, which means that you want to create the similar, with the similar name or the similar ESSID um, of a network that already exists, so that is basically called an evil twin. In that case, you have to make sure that your, um, you know, the Wi-Fi that you're, the network that you're creating, it should be on the same channel that uh the original wi-fi is communicating on it is important because then basically you can deauthenticate the users from the actual wireless network and force them to get connected to your wi-fi right the fake one or the evil twin however if you're not creating an evil twin you're just creating a network like the one that i'm creating uh 
you can actually create and select any channel between 1 and 14. So uh, I'm just creating channel 11 um, and then the interface name WLAN0. All right. So now what you can see here is that it says it has created a tapping interface, a tap interface AT0. So basically, when you use Air Base NG, it creates a new interface called the tap interface AT0. Now, this basically has already created a network uh, with the name Tim Hortons Free Wi Fi. Let me see if I can use WLAN0 to actually scan it and show you. Uh, all right. So. Let me just stop the scan. So now you can see here that there is a Tim Horton free Wi-Fi created and it's surprisingly uh, configured on channel 10. However, I selected channel 11. Anyways, so now the network is created. Uh, however, you may not be able to connect it still. And the reason why, because when somebody tries to connect to this Wi-Fi, um, he should be getting a, an IP address and he should also be able to get internet access. So what we need to do here is that we need to create, um, let me just show you first. If I write if config, you should be able to see a new tap interface. I think it's with minus A to see all. So when I write minus A, it actually shows you that there's a new tapping interface, AT0 that has been created. This is my ethernet interface, which has the internet access. And then this is the WLAN zero, which is my original wireless interface. Now, what I need to do is that I need to create a bridge by using bridge dash utils. And then I need to bridge this interface with ETH zero so that if a user gets connected, he should be able to get internet access from AT0 to uh, ETH0, right? So again, once you have created the network, you need to create a bridge. Once you create the bridge, you need to bridge AT0 with um, ETH0 on which you have the internet access. And then we will see if we can actually, um, I will connect my cell phone and see if I can intercept the traffic from my cell phone, right? Okay. So the next thing that I want to do is, um, let me just, sorry. In the first terminal, second terminal, okay. So the next thing I'm going to do in this terminal is that, um, like I said, bridge dash utils, and then the command is br. Uh, control CTL add bridge and I'm going to call it ranger dash bridge you can name it anything you like or I can just call it Tim so the bridge name is going to be Tim right so now I have created the bridge by using bridge control if you want to see this new bridge that I have created should be disabled, okay. So if config minus A. So now you can see that I have created a bridge which is with the name Tim, right? Now I'm going to add the two interfaces, AT0 and ETH0 to this, um, to this bridge that I have created, right? So in order to add BR, CTL, add if and then the name of the bridge and then the first interface that I want to add to this bridge is AT0. The second interface that I want to add is ETH0. All right. And the next thing that I want to do is that I'll do if config at zero zero dot zero dot zero dot zero and then up. All right. 
Now I also need to, because the bridge is still down, the bridge that I created that is Tim. So I also need to give it an IP address from the same range on which my ETH zero is operating. And I need to make it up, right? So if config um, Tim 192.168. I think it's 36. Let me check my ETH zero network range. So, all right, so ETA zero is on 36 network. So I'm going to give it an IP 36.100 and I'm going to make it up. Right now, the interface is down, the bridge that I created. So if config the bridge, Tim, IP address from the same range on which you have the internet access and I'll make it up. Okay, before I move on, there's one more command that I need to run. That is echo one greater than sign slash proxys net IPv4 IP underscore forward. So basically the reason for doing this is that um, IP underscore forward is by default, um, I think it's zero. If it's already one, you don't need to, to run this command to make the value of this one. Uh, but usually, because I, I might have already changed it to one, so let me just double check, cat. So let me see, yeah, so by default it is zero. So in order to enable IP forwarding, I just have to echo one to this IP underscore forward variable and it should be changed to one now, right? So let me just double check. And now you can see that the value has been changed from zero to one, so it will enable IP forwarding. So now we are all set and everything is okay. Before I connect my cell phone, I'm going to open Wireshark to see if I can actually capture the traffic on my bridge interface, that is Tim. All right, so, so this is the interface, that is Tim. All right, now I can't see any traffic on it. Yeah, okay, so I can see something going on. So I'm going to double click Tim. Any of these interfaces, I actually, I can tap. Uh, I mean, I, I can start capturing the traffic. Uh, all right, so now here, just uh, as soon as I try to connect my cell phone, you should be seeing that there is some kind of client who is trying to get connected here, right? So. Let me connect my cell phone to Tim Horton's free Wi-Fi. All right, here we go. And before I'll just get that network and Tim Horton's. All right, so so now you can see here on the screen that client this 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 MAC address is trying to connect to the the Wi-Fi, right? Okay, so my, my cell phone is connected right now to this free Wi-Fi or the rogue access point. And also you can see that you can see a lot of traffic coming here. Now, obviously you cannot, um, I mean, obviously you are intercepting the whole traffic you can see here, uh, but this doesn't mean that you can actually um, see the encrypted traffic because uh, the traffic that is unencrypted, obviously, you should be able to see it here. But if it is secured by using TLS, as you can see here, um, you know, uh, you cannot actually, um, I mean, you can obviously uh, see some of the basic information, but the whole data is encrypted. Now, if you want to intercept and decrypt the traffic, then, you know, you need to probably enable SSL stripping. Uh, which I'm going to make another video in which you will learn how to do SSL strip. Uh, but for now, you can see that my, you know, fake access point is working fine. A client is connected to it. And you can also see the traffic is being intercepted by Wireshark, right? So I hope you have enjoyed the video. Uh, I would like to request once again to please like and subscribe to my channel. And there'll be, there'll, there are going to be a lot more interesting videos that I'm going to 
make. Um, it's not just about the wireless. I'll be making videos on penetration testing. I'll be making videos on um, digital forensics, um, incident handling, firewall and intrusion analysis, and a lot more topics. Thank you for watching.